Pack your bags, folks. This is it. Stevie Y has done it. The rebuild is complete. The Red Wings have made themselves a trade earlier today with the San Jose Sharks swapping depth AHL talent in Kyle Criscuolo and Jasper Weatherby. It's a one-for-one -one trade straight up and down, and this is a really intriguing move. Not necessarily because the guy the Red Wings are getting, Jasper Weatherby, is like super amazing, or because Kyle Criscuolo is a steal of an AHL player, but because of what this type of move does to the Grand Rapids Griffins roster. Now, just for all intents and purposes here, Weatherby was playing with the San Jose Barracuda, and you had Chris Cuolo playing for the Griffins, so I'm going to assume that neither of these guys are going to be NHL-caliber guys anytime soon. But, the thing with Kyle Criscuolo is, this guy was sent down to the AHL's Grand Rapids Griffins earlier last week, and because he was sent down, it actually ended up placing Jakob Vrana on the Red Wings farm team to scratch territory. Because there's this AHL veterans rule wherein players that have played over, I think it's a few hundred professional hockey games, you're only allowed to have a few of them in your lineup at a time. The Red Wings sending Chris Cuolo down forced somebody in the Grand Rapids Griffins organization to get scratched and Vrana ended up being that guy. We had been reporting earlier throughout the past few days that Vrana had been scratched and not been playing in the AHL and this veteran rule might have been a part of that. So getting rid of a guy like Kyle Criscuolo, 30 years old, 5'9", 174 as a right-handed center, signed till the end of this season making $750,000, who is indeed an AHL vet at this point. This was an intriguing type of move because it allows the Grand Rapids Griffins to play one more veteran, quote-unquote veteran, I'm saying that term loosely, just as somebody who fulfills the credentials of filling out that veteran rule. So, for Kyle Criscuolo, he had 10 points, 28 games played, got sent back down to Grand Rapids, and is now on the move to an organization in San Jose. Coming in return is Jasper Weatherby, a guy who's a lot younger than Chris Cuolo. He's 24 years old, 6'4", 223, a left-handed center as well, signed till the end of this season. He's making $842,000. He was drafted by San Jose back in 2018, spent a whole bunch of years with the University of North Dakota, eventually signed on with the Sharks last year. He had 50 games played with the regular Sharks, had 11 games, or excuse me, 11 points. And he had 25 games played with the Barracuda, 15 points in that span over there. This season, though, his production has actually taken quite a bit of a tank. He's got six points in 39 games played. But because he's a guy that had only started playing pro hockey last year, he does not fulfill that veteran rule that we had been talking about this entire time with Jakob Vrana. If the Red Wings are going out there and wanting to free up that veteran space, this is the type of move that allows them to do that because they're getting a guy who is a lot younger, who has not played the pro games to fulfill that quota, and I mean, they're losing out on Kyle Criscuolo in the process, who has been a pretty committed Grand Rapid Griffin. I mean, he was a Griffin back in 2016-17. He went around to other AHL and NHL teams after that, but then he found himself back with the Griffins in 2020-2021. So, Kyle Criscuolo, all I can say here is thank you for your service to Stevie Y and his plan, but this is the next step, trading him away to get a younger guy and free up some veteran space in the Grand Rapids Griffin system, or at least that's what it appears to me the plan might be. So, talk to the cons your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Jasper Weatherby and Kyle Criscuolo are? Do you like these guys? Do you not? If you're a fan of the Barracuda or the Grand Rapids Griffins, what are your thoughts on what these players end up accomplishing? I'm not really too sure why the Barracuda would want to do this. I'd been seeing some pretty good reviews about Jasper Weatherby and his development, not because of the points per se, like obviously that's not a great point number, but because of the chemistry and the role that he has on that team. He's apparently a really good friend of William Eklund, who is a top prospect for the Sharks. So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinions about Weatherby and or Chris Cuolo, as well as the trade itself. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.